How to eat food for weight loss recipe Most Americans have the same problem when it comes to losing weight and staying well. The foods we like in our culture are, for the most part, terrible for us. Asterisk chocolate milkshake. Asterisk chicken fried steak with steak fries. Asterisk grilled hamburger with the works. Asterisk mom's favorite pie. I hope I'm not making you too hungry. You may not love the items I just listed, but it's a sure bet 90% of those reading this article could easily down at least one of those items right now. The problem is, these items are sky high in fat and other not so good for you ingredients, plus low in fiber. It seems like everything that tastes good isn't good for us. If you don't believe me, read the ingredient tables on all the low fat foods at the supermarket. Almost all of them have much higher levels of fat than you would guess. Keep reading tables and you'll likely get a little depressed. When I tried this exercise, I left thinking that carrots were the only truly low fat item in the store. One way to get the right idea about healthy food is to think about what we would eat if we didn't have a supermarket up the street. Think about what great, great grandma ate on the farm 100 years ago before all today's convenience foods took over. Chances are you would eat vegetables you grew in your backyard. You might occasionally dine on chicken you had raised yourself. Cows were very expensive in most areas, so it's unlikely you would eat beef more than a few times a year. If you could catch a fish, you might eat that, and it wouldn't be deep fried. Get the picture? That's how almost all peoples of the world ate until very recently. Humans were designed to eat vegetables and fruits mostly, with very little preparation and no additives. Steer your diet toward that kind of old-fashioned thinking and you'll be surprised how your weight goes down and your health improves. And while you're at it, remember that it's been only fairly recently that people had automobiles. I'll bet when your city was founded, most people walked everywhere they went. And that's the other part of the equation. Get regular exercise to lose weight and improve your health. You don't have to be an athlete, just get out and walk for a while several times per week. Try these common sense methods and you'll be surprised how well they work. I know what it's like to be stuck. I lost a little weight and then I stopped. I had about 25 to 30 pounds to go and nothing was happening. I was exercising, eating healthy and no more weight loss. Here is how I was able to lose the rest of the weight I wanted to. You can do it too. 1. Rethink your diet. It is time to stop dieting and cutting calories. Avoid quick fix fad diets. You usually end up gaining more weight when it is over than you weighed when you started. Your goal should be to get healthy. Work towards a lifetime goal of a healthy diet and lifestyle change. And be careful, some foods, such as soy and skim milk, which are marketed as health and diet foods are unhealthy and or actually help make you fatter. 2. Eat healthy life-giving foods. Choose healthier organic produce, meats, eggs and milk products. Get plenty of proteins to help you build muscle and burn fat. 3. Cut out the bad carbs and processed foods. Avoid the bad carbs white sugar and white flour. Stay away from the processed foods as much as possible. It is the bad fats and oils, carbs, preservatives, MSG, and food dyes that keep many people overweight. 4. Try cooking with coconut oil. Coconut oil is the best oil you can use in your diet. It actually promotes weight loss by burning as fuel for the body instead of storing as fat. It is a harmless saturated fat that has been proven not to cause heart disease, and actually helps fight cardiovascular disease. And you can use it for higher temperature cooking, unlike olive oil. 5. Exercise moderately but don't overdo it. People talk a lot about the need to add more exercise, but too much exercise can be almost as bad as too little. Listen to your body. Start slowly and increase your exercising gradually. Vary your exercise routines. Alternate weight training and aerobics exercises on different days. 6. When you still can't lose weight, get some help. Sometime you just need a little extra help. There are proven herbs and supplements that can that can give you that extra edge you might need to cut your appetite, give your metabolism and energy levels a boost, and help you burn fat and build muscle. There are also a lot of diet scams out there, so be careful. 
I did a lot of research, and tried a lot of supplements with empty promises but you can learn from me. I found the best fat burning and weight loss supplements, and they are all in one simple patch that you apply daily. I am really excited about this product. It gave me the added push, when I needed it. Maybe it can help you too. If you like more video again please to do so, right now for next.